Do you want to master the art of persuasion? Today we're revealing 10 mind tricks that will make anyone agree with you. It's a common problem. You have great ideas, but people just don't seem to be convinced. This can lead to missed opportunities and frustration. But with the right techniques, you can change that. These tricks are essential for effective communication and influence. By the end of this video, you will know how to apply these powerful techniques in any situation. Let's start. Number 1. The Power of Because When it comes to making your case, don't underestimate the game-changing word because. It's not just a filler word, it's the key to unlocking minds and getting your way. So here's the thing, when you throw because into the conversation, you're not just asking, you're guiding people down the path of understanding. It's like handing them a roadmap to your request. Instead of a plain, can I borrow your car, you jazz it up with, can I borrow your car because mine is in the shop and I have an important meeting to attend? See what happened there? You painted a picture and people love clarity. See, humans are wired to seek reasons, explanations, and justifications. When you provide a because, you're essentially throwing a lifeline to their logic. It triggers a mental quest for a rationale, and guess what? Your viewpoint becomes the answer. So, the next time you want someone to hop on your train of thought, don't forget the magic word. Number 2. Use contrasts to get what you want One effective mind trick to sway opinions is to master the art of contrast. For example, if you're negotiating a project deadline with your team, instead of stating your preferred time frame outright, sprinkle in a dash of contrast. Here's how. Propose a tight deadline and then, for dramatic effect, suggest an even tighter one. It's a bit like a theatrical performance and the brain loves the show. Why does this work? It's the psychology of relativity at play. When faced with extremes, the brain instinctively seeks a middle ground. So, by presenting a seemingly less favorable alternative, you're creating a contrast that makes your initial proposal look like the sweet spot of reasonability. Basically, contrasts are your strategic allies. What they do is guide the perception of the other person in a way that makes your desired outcome not just reasonable, but downright appealing. Number 3. Crafting Agreement with Tone and Facts when trying to persuade an opponent, keep your tone even and your demeanor calm. It's not just about what you say, it's about how you say it. When you get loud, all people see is someone noisy who's getting aggressive. However, when you maintain a polite and composed manner, you create an environment where your words carry weight. Now, with that calm demeanor, add the magic touch. Hit them with facts. Instead of merely expressing opinions politely, present concrete facts that support your argument. For example, let me share some data that illustrates why this approach is not only beneficial, but also backed by solid evidence. Engaging politely and using a factual tone isn't just about convincing. It's about creating a space where your argument stands on its own merit. So, the next time you're ready to present your case, remember the power of a composed demeanor and the undeniable force of well-presented facts. Number 4. The Power of Visualization when you're trying to get someone on board with your idea, get them to visualize the sweet success that comes with it. Paint a mental masterpiece of all the awesome things that could happen if they hop on your train. So, step one, get them to daydream with you. When you're making your point, ask them to imagine the sweet taste of success. Say something like, imagine the awesome vibes when we pull this off. Can you see it? Now, let's crank up the emotional connection. Get them to feel it in their gut. Think about how amazing it feels to crush this goal together. Emotions are the secret source to winning people over, and visualization is the magic wand. Sprinkle in a fact or a real-life example for that extra oomph. Drop a casual, by the way, did you know, facts stick, and they add weight to your pitch. Master this art and you'll be the Picasso of persuasion, turning skeptics into allies with the stroke of a mental brush. Number 5. Create Urgency with FOMO Wondering how some people effortlessly convince others to see things their way? It's by the power of FOMO. You're chatting with someone, and you drop a subtle hint about an exclusive opportunity or limited time offer. Now, since humans crave what they can't easily have, this creates a sense of urgency, a trigger that switches the FOMO in their brain. Studies show that people are more likely to say yes when they think they might miss out on something valuable. So, when you're making your case, sprinkle in phrases like limited availability, or exclusive access, and watch the magic happen. Imagine you're trying to convince your friend to join you on a weekend getaway. Instead of just saying, hey, come with us, say, we've got this amazing deal, but it's only available until tomorrow. You don't want to miss out on the adventure, do you? The urgency will not only capture attention, 
but also make your ideas irresistible. Number six, persuade through emotions. Firstly, weave a personal connection. Share a heartfelt story that tugs at the heartstrings. Emotions are your key allies in this persuasion game. Make it real, make it relatable, and watch how it resonates. Now, here's the emotional jujitsu move. Reciprocity. Before laying out your emotional request, offer genuine kindness or a thoughtful gesture. It's like saying, I'll scratch your back and you scratch mine. This sets the stage for a connection, fostering a willingness to reciprocate. Next up, social proof with an emotional twist. Paint a picture of others who, thanks to your idea, found happiness or relief. It's like creating an emotional ripple effect. Their stories become a testament to the emotional impact, making your proposal irresistibly compelling. And lastly, keep it personal. Tap into their emotional desires and aspirations. When people feel emotionally connected to an idea, saying yes becomes a natural response. Research shows that when people feel valued and understood, they're more open to agreement. So actively listen, show empathy, and acknowledge their emotions. It's not just about convincing, it's about creating an emotional journey that leads to a resounding yes. Number seven, the name and status game. When it comes to making someone agree with you, setting the stage is the most important bit. A dash of psychology can work wonders. So to persuade someone in power, first acknowledge their status. People love to feel respected and praised, so subtly recognize their expertise or achievements. A casual, I've heard great things about your insights on this, not only strokes their ego, but also paves the way for agreement. Now, onto the name game. Toss their name into the conversation like confetti. Mike, what do you think about this approach? It's a personal touch that works like a charm, making the interaction feel tailor-made. But here's where the real magic happens. Combine the two, drop a compliment bomb and use their name. Alex, with your stellar track record, I'm thinking our collaboration could be groundbreaking. Boom, you've not just acknowledged them, you've made them feel important, setting the perfect stage for agreement. Number eight, invoke the, but you are free technique. Another cool mind trick that can change the game in getting people on board with your ideas is the, you are free to do whatever you want technique. Picture this, you're trying to convince your friends to join you on a weekend getaway. Instead of the usual hard sell, throw in a casual, but of course it's completely up to you at the end of your pitch. Suddenly, it's like you've handed them the golden ticket of choice. This trick taps into the psychology of autonomy. We all love feeling in control, right? Studies actually back this up. People tend to be more agreeable when they think they're making a voluntary decision. Let's say you're trying to get your study group to choose your project idea. Throw in, I think our project will be stellar, but you're free to choose how you'd like to contribute. Boom, you've made your case without sounding pushy and they feel like it's their call. Number nine, second pause to give your words a bigger effect. When you're making a point, don't rush it. Instead, sprinkle in strategic pauses. These silent interludes give your words weight and impact, making them more likely to stick. For example, you're negotiating a deal, and after stating your terms, you hit the pause button. The other party is left hanging, eagerly awaiting your next words. This moment of suspense can work wonders in swaying opinions and getting that agreement nod. A fascinating fact to reinforce this point is that our brains need a moment to process information, and a well-timed pause allows your listener's mind to catch up. Just as a well-placed comma enhances a sentence, a pause can elevate your speech to a whole new level. Number 10, mirror your opponent's body language. Ever noticed how you click better with someone when you feel a connection? Well, here's a nifty mind trick that can turn the tide in your favor. Mirror your opponent's body language. You're in a conversation with someone, and subtly you start to mimic their gestures, posture, or even the way they nod. When people see themselves reflected in you, it builds a sense of rapport and trust. Let's say you're in a job interview. Your potential boss is leaning in, showing enthusiasm. What do you do? You mirror that vibe. And get this, research suggests that this mirroring dance can actually amp up your persuasive powers. So the next time you're in a tete-a-tete, -tete, keep an eye on those nonverbal cues. You might just find yourself in a wordless agreement dance that tips the scales in your favor. Cool, huh? If you have made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.